welcome to simplified engineering this is video lecture number five different types of systems in our last lecture we covered the concept of system surroundings and system boundary also we covered the different types of interactions between the system and surroundings that is energy interaction and mass interaction in this lecture we are going to cover different types of systems systems are of mainly three kinds first one is open system and the second one is closed system and third one is isolated system firstly we are going to discuss open system so in an open system there can be mass into the system and mass can also leave the system similarly energy can enter into the system and energy can leave the system that means the classification of systems is based upon the interaction with the surroundings in an open system both energy and mass can enter and leave the system okay now I am going to explain this open system with an example consider a simple boiler this is our system so everything outside the system is surrounding so I am going to input some water in the system means the mass water mass is going into the system means from surroundings the mass is going inside the system now I started heating at the bottom means I am supplying heat energy the he energy is going into the system that means from surroundings the energy is moving into the system now what will happen if we supply heat energy to water it will start boiling so water bubble water vapors and will be forming and the bubbles will be formed so all the bubbles will be collected in the top area so when sufficient pressure is reached what will happen it will start moving through the out nozzle so heat and mass will go outside the system the water vapor which is a mass that is liquid water is converted into vapor form that mass is moving out of the system and it will be having high temperature so temperature means higher energy higher thermal energy so the ma heat and mass is going out of the system so this boiler is an example of a uh, open system means ma both mass and heat are moving into the system and heat and mass are going out of the system okay now we are going to the second type of system that is closed system so in closed system there will not be any mass interaction with the system and surroundings which means that only energy can go inside the system and energy can leave the system so I am taking an example consider a metallic cube this is of fixed mass means the mass will not change so I am putting heat means I am going to heat the system so means the from surroundings the heat is supplied means the energy is supplied to the cube on heating the temperature will rise and the body will become red hot the metallic body will become red hot so what will happen when sufficient temperature is reached it will start emit radiations means it will emit heat to the surroundings means it is heat out of the system so in this case when we are heating we are supplying heat energy into the system and when it is become very hot temperature it will the energy will be emitting out of the system means heat in and heat out but there is no mass interaction means the mass is constant in this way so in a closed system the mass will be constant and heat will be coming in and coming out simultaneously or sometimes only heat may be coming in okay so we are going to the third kind of system so third kind of system is isolated system it, an isolated system as the name indicates it is completely isolated from the surrounding which means that there will not be any kind of interaction between the system and surrounding so we can show it by an isolated boundary there is no interaction between the system and the surroundings means the mass cannot enter into the system or mass cannot leave the system energy cannot enter the system and energy cannot leave the system can you find any example for this kind of a system theoretically we can find some examples but practically this kind of examples for isolated system is very less for example we can say that universe is an isolated system okay the one of the theoretical example is a ther well insulated thermoflask what is mean by that thermoflask is nothing but a flask which contains some hot liquid in order to arrest the heat 
leakage from the li liquid we will insulate it so this is our system it contains some hot liquid so we will insulate this thermo flask with some insulating material so what will happen the mass inside the system is constant because we are not uh, you uh, pouring this water to some not anywhere so and now the heat loss is arrested by giving thick insulations so now there is no mass transfer from system to surrounding or there is no heat interaction between system and surrounding so we can say that a thermo flask is a isolated system i hope the idea of different types of system open system closed system and isolated system it is clear so this is the end of the video next video is control volume and control surface you can subscribe our channel for latest videos thank you for watching